Welcome back to Firex Techs. My name is Henry, and this will be a quick video showing you how to install the new Sigil 2 Doom 1 chapter on the Mio Mini Plus running Onion OS. This does require that you already have Onion OS and the Doom 1 port installed on your Mio Mini Plus. If you are missing either of these requirements, I will have links to my install guides for Onion OS and the Doom ports in the description. But enough of that. Let's get on with it. First, we will need to get the Sigil 2 WAD from Romero's website, which is romero.com sigil. I will have a link to this in the description. Scroll down and click on the download button for Sigil 2. If you don't already have Sigil 1, go ahead and download that too. For this next step, if you already have Sigil 1 installed, you can skip to the next part. Otherwise, we'll need to go to Onion OS port page. I'll have a link to that in the description. Scroll down until we see the Sigil image. Click on it to download the port files we'll need for Onion OS. Now, connect your SD card to your computer. Extract the zip file that ends in PRBOOM and drag the two folders that come from that to your SD card's root folder and override any conflicts. Now navigate to the ROMs folder, then Ports, then Games, then Doom, PR Boom, then Doom. You should see your Doom Ultimate WAD here. Extract the Sigil zip files we downloaded from Romero's website and drag the WAD files into the Doom folder next to the Doom U WAD file on your SD card, like you see me doing on the screen now. After you have done this on your SD card, navigate back to the Ports folder. You'll have to click back three times, where you should see a Shortcuts folder and open it. Go into the Doom Collection folder, then find the Doom Sigil file and make a copy of it by just copy and pasting. Now we will rename the new copy, change the 7 at the very beginning to an 8, change the year in the parentheses to 2023, add two capital I's at the end of sigil for the Roman numeral, and then remove the word copy and the dash at the end. Now open this file up and find the line that says ROM file. We will need to change this to the name of the Sigil 2 WAD. You can either go back to where you initially extracted it, or go to where it's located on the SD card like I'm doing now, and copy the name into that line. The way I like to do it, just to avoid any mistakes, is to find the WAD, click Rename, copy the full name with the file extension, and paste it over what is already here, like this. Then save the file, and that is all we need to do on the computer. You can eject your SD card, put it back in your Mio Mini Plus. Then we will need to go to the Ports option and select Import Ports. Now you should see the Sigil 2 option. I did notice some slowdown with the default resolution, so I recommend going into the RetroArch settings select Core Options, and set the internal resolution to 320 by 200, then back out, go to Manage Core Options, and select Save Game Options. After this, you will need to restart the game. If you find the game too dark, you can increase the gamma by hitting Start, going to Options, select General, then go down to Gamma Correction, hit A or Start, followed by right or left on the D-pad to set your desired level, it won't take effect until you fully back out of the menus. All right, that's it. Time to celebrate Doom's 30th anniversary by getting destroyed by some demons again. Good luck and enjoy. If you run into any issues or you have any questions, please leave a comment below and I'll get to it as soon as I can. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please leave a like, subscribe for more content from Firex Techs, and as always, thank you for watching.